Hey everyone, Ashton here from Without Code, and today we're taking a quick walkthrough of our new Membership Works widget for Architect. Membership Works is a powerful web-based membership software platform that allows you to manage and automate administration tasks and allows for a membership-based platform on your website. We've received a ton of requests for a widget like this for some time on our Facebook page and other channels, and we're excited to roll it out. Now, our live demo here gives a brief overview of the features that are possible with this, but the features are very dense and much is possible. And our widget allows for a super simple integration of membership works onto your architect site, meaning you can easily add member signups, a member directory, a member map, and so much more right onto your site. Anyone with any sort of website, business, or organization that has members will find this widget incredibly useful. Let me jump over to the membershipworks.com website. Now there are far too many features to cover in this solo tutorial video and probably not necessary anyway since most of you that have been seeking something like this probably already have a pretty good idea of the benefits that are in store. But either way, I encourage you to peruse the website to take a look at everything that's possible. But for starters, we'll want to open an account here at Membership Works. So let's go up here to sign up and we'll click pricing and sign up. Now for those wondering, there is a free option with lots of functions available with up to 50 members allotted, which is awesome, but beyond that, it's priced by member accounts that sign up to you with even more features to explore. But for now, let's sign up for a free account. You'll get a page asking for some starter info for your membership, so I'll just enter some info here. I'll put Ashton's membership and a sample address. And for email, I'll put ashton at musethemes.com. And we'll make a password. Great. Accept the terms and click sign up. And then it's going to ask you on what platform you're going to be incorporating the service. So we'll just pick HTML5 for now. And then it's going to take you to a place where you can watch a welcome video, but you can also just click straight to your account right here and we're taken directly to our dashboard. Now, since this is a new account, I don't have any members or anything set up. So for the sake of demo, I'm gonna log out by clicking Organization Settings and then clicking Sign Out. And I'm actually going to re-log in with an account that Brandon generously already set up for me with some sample memberships and stuff already in place so we can see the widget actually functioning. Perfect. Okay, so in here now we can see he's added eight members to our organization already, which is great. And you've got a very dense list of places to explore in your account here on the left. Now, like I said, definitely too much to cover here, but I encourage you to spend some time in here and explore. But for now, I'm going to cover how we incorporate this on the architect side of things. We haven't dropped our widget onto the page yet, but before we leave here, there is a piece of information we're going to need when we do so. So let's grab it now. And that's your organization ID, and you can find it by clicking Organization Settings. And we can find it here under Organization ID. So you can remember it or simply highlight and copy. Perfect. Now let's jump into Architect. As usual, I'm working with our method theme, and I'm going to scroll down a bit here to where we have a little bit more space to work with. So let's jump into the Widgets panel. We'll scroll down to Business and grab our Membership Works widget, and we'll drop it into a new row on our page. Perfect. Now you're not gonna see much at first, and that's because we need to enter our organization ID. So let me paste that in there now. And then we need to select a feature. So from our dropdown here, we have all these different things that this one single widget can display using the membership that we've set up on our backend. For now, let's start with member directory. And as we do that, you can see the widget render the real member information immediately right here in the editor, which is awesome. So anything that's updated on the membershipworks.com site backend will show up right here in the widget in Architect in real time. Super handy. Let's do a page preview. We can see everything's already sitting in here nicely and smoothly. I can click into any of these. And the widget displays all the proper information right here. And I can click to close. Now with this member directory feature and all other features from the list, there is a ton of functionality. Each feature mode is a very thorough embed of the membership works services. So you'll find that you can engage in extensive interactions such as searches, sending messages to members, registering for events, and so much more. Let's click back to our editor. And we'll go into the settings panel and we'll click to member map. And after a quick reload, we can see a totally different function now. 
And if we preview, we get an interactive Google map here showing the location of all of our members, all of which are clickable. It's pretty awesome. Finally, let's change the feature to event calendar. And yet another drastic change showing a full calendar of events as you've set it up on your membership works backend. Now you may have noticed in the settings panel here that the additional options you're given in the panel change depending on what feature we have selected. And this is normal. All of the options you see available for each feature will be displayed when you select said feature. And some might not have any, just FYI. Also, I do want to note that what the widget shows on your page here for any feature mode is also dependent on what you set up in your account. So Brandon set up a basic demo account for us here, but since we don't have certain gateway settings configured on it yet, we're not seeing certain things such as functional member signup features. But all of that will come into play when the features are set up on your membership works account. And on that note, keep in mind that the bulk of the admin controls and settings are indeed going to happen on the membership works site. Since our widget is just an integration, you can think of it as a portal to the services at membership works that just lives on your site but users will never have to leave your site to use the features included with this widget, which is pretty awesome. Now, before we close out, there is one more note I do want to mention, and that is using multiple instances of this widget, as I'm sure many of you will want to do, since there are so many features tied to a single membership. And some of you may be inclined to drop a bunch of widgets on the same page, like if you wanted to show a map, a directory, and an event calendar all on the same page. But unfortunately, that isn't possible with this widget, and here's why. Our widget utilizes an extensive software system that was engineered by membership works, and all of the functionality was designed with a purpose. And all of the interactions need to be part of the page history and state, like your URL, so that if the member like refreshes the page or clicks the back button, the content of the page would populate as expected. It also provides a unique URL for each event in each directory profile, so the event or profile can be shared using that same URL. So all this to say, because the widget is so extensive and interactive, that means that only one widget can be used on a single page at a time. But this isn't really a huge limitation. You can accomplish so much with just one instance of the widget on a page, and you can create additional pages to your heart's content for different features. For example, you can have a widget using the member sign up or sign in on your home page, and then you can put your member map on your member map page or contact page, and another page dedicated to your member directory. So there's still tons of options, and all in all, it serves to allow this widget to be as powerful as it is and as functional as we want it to be. So thanks again for watching. Have fun with this one. I'm super excited and definitely feel that it's a huge functionality and sophistication bump to any site that represents a business or organization and definitely puts a ton more power into the hands of those of you with clients. So thanks again. And if any issues arise, don't hesitate to reach out to us and support. Cheers.